Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer that was sent to me by a French wizard, Guy. So thank you very much, Guy. This is from Covered Bridge Brewing Company. This is Amber Rose Amber Ale. It is 6.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, I had this when uh, Covered Bridge was brand new uh, a few years back. Oh, and, um... When I had it, it didn't do that when I opened the can, um, but I never actually reviewed it. It was just, we were there, lots of snap crackle pop on that head though. We were there, we were doing a beer entry, we were doing some interviews, and uh, yeah. We did a really big, uh, really big brewery tour day that day. Um, sorry, one second here. Clean it up with my shirt. This is the uh, third day I've worn this shirt now. Before I get, oh, I wear it for the 20 minutes of videos I do, and then I put it on the chair there, and I go up to bed, and I wake up and go to work. So it's not like uh, it's actually been worn. It's been worn for an hour in three days. Uh, but yeah, I'll wash it today. Lots of head. Very hazy. Can't see anything through it. It has an amber color. I mean, it looks the part, other than the fact that you can't tell because of all the head. Uh, scent. Kind of smells like macro beer almost. It has that just kind of grainy, grainy, sweet, somewhat sulfuric, dirty finish like dirty back end pour some more in the glass maybe at some point I'll get to drink it out of the glass I doubt it we'll try it from the can because I'm not waiting I, I don't have 45 minutes to wait wow that's carbonated I would almost think that there was a uh, the same type of problem that that um, Amsterdam had that there was residual sugars and the yeast was never uh, yeast was never put to a dormant state that uh, this was carbonating in the can because that is harsh carbonation. Yeah, beer tastes fine, but that carbonation is harsh. <sighs> The burps come right away. I can't even stop them. Oh, the tongue—it's—it's it's actually like pins and needles. It's—it's it's being attacked. Uh, there is a lot of carbonation in there. A lot of carbonation. Taste kind of dirty, kind of earthy. Almost tastes like a pilsner, to be honest with you. It's an amber pilsner, is what it's tasting like. It has that grassiness, that earthiness, that zestiness. A little bit of that just neutral graininess. That this, that's not really me. It's not really me. I'm not feeling it. Out of ten on that. In all honesty, when I had this at the brewery, I loved it. Uh, they weren't canning then. I don't know if something's gone on in in the time. I know he's expanded and everything else. I I really would think that this is an just an off batch, but it is what I have to look at. And with what I'm looking at, I would probably give this a uh, a straight 5 out of 10. Uh, basically the same level as, say, like a Coors Light or a Bud or something. It's it's there. I could drink it if I had to. And I'm not saying it tastes the same, because, no, it has a lot more flavor than those. I'm just saying, in my lineup of beers, this is pretty much at the meh, I could do it if I had to type of, type of beer. <sighs> Excuse me. Amber Rose from Covered Bridge. Thank you, Gee. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with this. Uh, I can't see it ever being meant to have this much carbonation, but I can't get another can of it, so this is what I'm looking at. Bye, guys.